Yes. Hope you enjoyed the, the last few videos about the wine taste with my lovely girlfriend Charlotte. She um she knows her stuff, she's a very knowledgeable lady and soon is going to be another red wine and also possibly a, a, a rosé wine because I've had a few people asking when you do rosé so uh, without further ado here she is Hello everybody I'm here to talk to you about a grape you might not have tried before Riesling it's the most famous of the white German grapes and probably the best. There's some other unusual ones like Muller Turgau, uh, I'm not sure if I'm saying that one right, which uh, are not renowned for being amazing wines. But Riesling is, it's one of the oldest grape varieties. And this one is from the oldest winery in New Zealand for just five pounds. This very reasonably priced wine, what we got it for, um, is from New Zealand and it's from the oldest wine region in New Zealand, Hawke's Bay, and it's from the oldest winery in New Zealand, uh, Mission Estate. And in Germany, it's either a bit sweet or absolutely bone dry or extremely sweet as a dessert wine. This wine is medium dry, which means a bit sweet in wine terms. Um, but it, I find it quite dry. There's very little residual sugar mm. in it, actually. Um, so, firstly, we look at the wine and we see it's clear and medium yellow. And it's actually from 2014, this wine, which is cracking on a bit for a white wine quite a lot. In fact, I would never recommend you to buy any cheap wine that's £5 or £6 from any year that's two years before the current year ever. So at the moment, 2020, don't buy 2017 wine. But Riesling is one of the rare exceptions because it ages really well. And actually, this is not a cheap wine. This is just a wine which has found its way into a certain um, budget supermarket store. But it is from 2014, this wine, which means that all of the, um, or at least 85% of the grapes were grown in 2014. And I wouldn't expect any to have been grown after um, that have gone into the bottle. And it's been in the bottle since 2014. So that's why it has got a bit darker in colour. I imagine when it was younger, it would have been paler. But most importantly, it affects the taste. So Riesling is quite floral. It's well known for being floral. So yeah, if we give it a sniff, we can definitely smell elderflower cordial. and also hints of lime, but because it's so old, it's actually got a petrol-y smell, which, you know, is actually very desirable in an aged Riesling, which this is. And it does actually come across in the flavor as well. Riesling is very well known for being very acidic but as wine ages it does get less acidic so now the acidity is perfectly balanced with the uh, richness of the wine as it swirls around the mouth it's now a bit more milky whereas if it was young and very acidic it'd feel more watery and the flavors are really coming together because the young uh, elderflower and um, lime and lemon notes are now I've got a bit of petrol coming in as well, which, um, you know what I mean, I don't go around drinking petrol, but it tastes like kind of the smell of petrol slightly, but a bit less acrid. There's just no other way to describe it, but petrol basically. To professionally taste the wine, we look at it and then we sniff it. Obviously, you know, most of, of taste is smell. Clean, it should smell nice and clean always or else don't drink it. And a good wine will be more intense in smell and also flavour. And they do, in this wine, come across completely on the palate, the same as the smell. So we can see that, you know, this is a quality wine from Mission Winery. And that's why it's not become absolutely sour, disgusting, 
donkey piss after six years, it's actually still quite nice to drink. So I thought when I saw it, I'll give that a try for five pounds. You need to, when you're tasting wine, suck the air through it and then run it all around your mouth um, to get all of the different flavour sensations. So to notice that, it's very dry. You know, perhaps once it was slightly sweet, but ageing may have slightly knocked that off a bit. Um, medium intensity for this one. Um, and the ar aromas are very strong, so it shows it's a good wine uh, with, you know, really nice fragrances coming out of it. And then we get to taste it. And really swirl it all around the mouth to get all of the flavours. And you'll notice, uh, especially underneath the tongue, um, that it's very dry, because Riesling is very dry, and it's very acidic. Um, it doesn't have any tannin as it's a white wine. The alcohol is quite low, you can't feel the burn at the back of the throat so much at all, because Riesling is quite low in alcohol, so this is just 11%. And the body is medium because although it's low in alcohol and the more alcohol a wine has, the higher in body it is, in, you know, richness, in thickness as it swirls around the glass. And, um, you know, a slight hint of something, which is like the smokiness from the petrol. And you can tell it's a quality wine because it does linger on the palate. You can taste the nice flavours for quite a while after. Uh, so cheers! Give a Riesling a try! So, what do you think about that? See, I told you she had some knowledge, you know, things like this. She has, she's been to many, many places, been to many trips around the um, around Europe places to learn about wine, how it's made, and like I said, stay tuned. It's going to be a, another, a few more red wine ones and some rosé reviews as well. So. Uh, yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, comment what you think, what you, what kind of wines would you like her to talk about, how they're made, because we'd like some some um, suggestions from you guys, the viewers. I only made these for you guys, so you know. But without further ado, thanks very much, and see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.